Here we are, Belmont Park. Hi, I'm at Trax Lounge, Omaha's premier horse racing bar, to tell you about my trip to Belmont. I'm here in the walking ring at Belmont. How about that? In late June, I had one of the greatest days of my life in one of my favorite places on earth, Belmont Park. I went solo for the first time with a GoPro camera, and I did some interviews with a bunch of people, like my friend Ann here. How are you doing today, Ann? I'm doing great, Gene. I got there real early on Saturday morning and got to spend some time with some of the world's greatest trainers. You've been a trainer now for how long? Um, 1999 I started training. And you've had some success and uh, is Belmont your home track? Yes it is, year yeah. round. You get out here what time every day? About 5, 5.30, okay. a little earlier in the summer, a little later in the winter. Okay and then uh, how many horses do you have under your tutelage right now? I have 22 right now. When they come out here, what is it you're looking for when they're out there running around on a, in the morning like this? Well, each horse you're looking for something different. You're, you're always looking to make sure that they're maintaining their fitness level and they're feeling good and happy, or you're asking them to step forward, the babies. I mean, it, it's hard to say. There's not one thing you're looking at. You're, you're just Every horse is different. Every horse is different. You're always looking to move forward or at least stay the same. You're certainly wanting to make sure that they're not going the other way. And then... Uh, the young ones, are they harder to handle than the older ones? It doesn't, it's pretty No, much. It's, it's, a, it's like horse to horse basis there, you know. Some right. are more trouble than others. Young or old, it doesn't matter. And do you have a favorite horse right now or you love them all? I love them all. <laughs> Sweet Reason, of course, holds a dear spot for me right this minute because she's she's running in some pretty impressive races. I gotta tell you something, Sweet Reason holds a place in my heart because I finished off a pick three with her on Belmont Oh, Day. good, yeah, that, that had to have paid well. That was I'm here with Christophe Clement, uh, trainer of Tonalist, the one in Belmont. How's everything going? Everything is great, thank you. And where are you from originally, sir? I'm French. French, yes, sir. I know, I obviously, you're French. And I noticed uh, when I first noticed you around, you were uh, specialized in the turf, but now you want a big race on the dirt. And you, you, do you prefer any surface to the other, or are they all about the same? No, they're all about the same. It was better with the fast horse than I am with the slow horse. That makes sense. And then also, uh, the name of the show is the Trackside Skinny, so I always ask people what's the skinny, like what's the inside information. So, Mr. Clement, what's the skinny? What's the skinny? Find me some fast horses. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. How you doing, Kieran? Great, thanks. I, I can call you Kieran, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And uh, I know you love it. Uh, how many horses you got at Belmont right now? 39. 39 yes. horses. So you got a nice big barn? Yeah. So you travel all over the world, don't you? And you work with people from all over the world. Does uh, Belmont hold a special place in your heart? Yes, because I've um, been in New York living five miles away from Belmont Park since 1986. So I spent 10 years in Dubai from 93 to 2003, but still kept the residence here. So Belmont is special and it's great neighborhood we live in a great racing in New York. I feel like it's the best racing in America. Oh yeah, my goal when I was young was to go to the moon and I've changed it now. I want to go to Dubai. There you go. Do you need a chef? <laughs> <laughs> Dubai is pretty neat. It's, uh, it's a great place. We went in 93. It was just a desert. Now okay. it's uh, unbelievable what they've done. The name of the show is the Trackside Skinny. So what I do is I ask people, so Kieran, what's the skinny? Yeah, not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me, but Saratoga's oh, coming. And it's I'm a great right place here. to go up and race. The best racing of the year is soon to come. Hopefully we'll have some nice two-year-old winners for next year's Triple Crown. Great. Well, best of luck to you. Thanks for thank talking. You, thank you. Uh, I'm here with John Sheriffs, uh, trainer of Zenyatta, and Zenyatta's son, whose Cos name? Cosmic One. Cosmic One, one and he's yeah. doing well, he's two. Doing very good, two year old, yes. How's his mom? His mom's great. She's she having a good time? Oh yeah, she's great. Yeah. That's good. How many horses do you have under your care right now? Uh, 32. 32, and things are good? Very good. All right, you look good. Okay, I got one question for you, John. What's the skinny? The skinny is Cosmic One. All right, all right, thank you very much. 
I also talked to a former jockey who's now a jockey's agent and a female jockey who was kind of cute. Yeah, a jockey here for years at Belmont? Yes. And what are you doing now? Well, I'm doing a jockey agent work right now. Uh, I just pick up a little kid that's a boat boy that uh, looks like he has a good future. His name is Francisco Valentin. My question is, why'd you retire? You're only 40 years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. You know why? Because I don't believe in numbers, but people who know me that Everybody knows. Oh, he's a little older than Ah, uh, well, I just keep myself together with the gym. I'm a gym freak guy. So right, you uh, go to the gym. What about like for jockeys trying to make weight? Do you ever have any advice for jockeys trying to make weight? Well, yes. A uh, very strong word is uh, discipline, and uh, try to eat when you're hungry. You know, and uh, I don't know, just uh, be responsible in your profession because it's a short one, and uh, in any athlete, if you don't have the discipline, it's uh, it's you know, it's, it's gonna take as long as you want it. That's the only way you can make it to be a long career. So the name of the show is the Trackside Skinny, so I'm going to say, what's the skinny? So, what's the skinny? <laughs> what's the skinny? What the, you know what? Uh, try to be as light as you can. Anyway, some people, they have uh, heavy bones. Some people, they got light bones. I got heavy bones. Well, definitely. you know what? It surprised me that uh, you wanted to be a jockey and you wind up being a chef. I don't think you was never going to be a jockey, being a chef. Man. I don't think so. Uh, I think. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. And okay, and how long have you been a jockey here at Belmont? Here at Belmont, six years. Six years, right on. And where are you from originally? Brazil. Brazil. Rio de Janeiro. Really? Yeah. So uh, are you into the World Cup then? Absolutely. At 12 noon, is Brazil playing Chile today. <laughs> okay, I'm sure. That's where I'll be watching on the TV. Well, I guess the question a lot of people have is, as a lady jockey, is it a lot more difficult to be a lady jockey than a man jockey? Absolutely. Uh, they, they think you're weaker and you got to prove yourself three times as much as as the men. And that's why we're really good at our job because we try three times as hard as the guys. So it's always good to ride a female jockey. So do the ladies stick together like Anna Rosa and uh, Taylor Wright? They don't so much stick together because we're jockeys. We're trying to ride the same horses. Right. So uh, everyone, you know, uh, wants, them, wants each other to be safe and wishes each other well, but we are competitive. That's good, okay. Well, thank yeah. you very much for talking. My pleasure. With the help of the chaplain, I made a new friend, trainer David Prime, who was involved in a horrendous explosion that almost took his life. He decided to become a trainer, and this is a little bit of his story. Actually, this is one of the things that got me back on my feet. I, you know, when you... I was uh, two weeks away from opening my own restaurant. We had we were booked eight months in advance reservation down in uh, Louisville in um, Restaurant Row, Bardstown Row, and um, the accident happened. So um, that kind of you wake up the next day, you, you don't even know if you're going to live. It's, just, it's a very, 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 very humbling. I ran up here when I first came. I did a lot of work for the chapel in Sienna House. They used to cook for them, okay. make cupcakes, and do all the Christmas parties. And I loved it. Um, I, I, I thank some of the beautiful people I've met out here. Oh, yeah. But you never leave the kitchen. I started, I was Julia Child for a little bit. She was one of my I actually mentors. got to meet her. I said yeah. to Julia Child, I asked her if she'd tender my loins. And she thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> thank God, or she might have hit me, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> She had, listen, she was one of the, the greatest, greatest culinary talents ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so people always ask me this question. Do you have a favorite thing to cook? They're different. My favorite meal is anything anybody else cooks for me. Oh, no kidding, no kidding. <laughs> we usually have a cooking segment. For this show, we talk to David about the similarities between cooking and training horses. A lot of things parallel to what we do out here. Right. Um, you know, preparation. Your chef, and yes, you sir. have time you prep. But the one thing about prepping in the kitchen, you can hit your mark and it's instant gratification. Right. You could do all the prep in the world out here for a horse. It's just something that will go wrong in a second, and it's nobody's fault. Right. Um, in the kitchen, it's always someone's fault. And my new owner is a, is a firecrack. He's a very intelligent man. He gives me a big opportunity and a uh, big father figure. And he, he's a great guy and very intelligent. So we have a good rapport. Trainers like old time trainers. They're not keeping anything a secret. They'll give you whatever advice you want to hear. Or... I've been lucky. I mean, there's guys, you know, Greg Dupreme, Gary Gallo, David Duggan, Rodrigo Abilio. Um, they've all been so nice to me. And they're so knowledgeable. They're such class people. I'm in a barn right here with David Duggan and Rodrigo Abilio. Uh, if I need to ask a question, I can ask a question. It's been very good, very good. You know, it's like, uh, you know, you're watching guys 
these guys I mentioned, and every, all the trainers out there, there's so much talent that I used to watch from the other side. So sometimes I got to scratch my head and say, wow, I'm training I'm here. with them. I'm not at their level, but I'm getting there. Every day I go to Belmont, I thank God that I'm here, that's for sure. I'm, 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 I'm very lucky. So this is a question I like to ask everybody. Yeah. So, what's the skinny? What's the skinny me about 20 years ago? <laughs> that was skinny. This, oh. this is, this is, uh, what's the skinny? You know, um, there's nothing you can't do if you really want to do it. If you love something, love it. Go and it. take the lumps that come with love. That's right. lumps come Obviously, we want to thank Ann here from Trax Lounge, but I really want to thank the people from Belmont, especially the people in the media office for being so nice to me. And look for us next time. We're thinking about going to Kentucky. And they're off. I don't know what Sprint up against Sunday Sun is there. Well, it's just got some speed. Sunday Sun and let's go head to head in the early going here. And Silver Day up to Freddy now. They're to the outside. I know. Well, it's made it now. Back to the point. Okay, just wave real quick. Michelle Mavin, that's her. Hi, Lori. Are you from New Jersey? Yes. That's why they call you New Jersey. Oh, is that what? Do you find that big game? They call me anything they want, that's definitely for dinner. That's right, okay. Look at that, look at the camera though. Look, over there, over there, look, look. Everybody's pretty shy though. But they got some beautiful ladies working here, that's for sure. Man. That is for sure. That's beautiful. Have fun. All right, I'm sitting here with Shug the Game. How are you today, sir? Good. 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 Good.